Hey friends, let's have fun with this BTS inspired 10 minute hourglass and thigh sculpt workout. Let's activate our dynamite energy with these squat warm ups. Keep your knees over your toes by adding a little bit of force outwards. Engage your core and make sure your back is straight so you also get an ab workout in. Same concept here, except this time you're going to step out into a wider squat, making sure to squeeze your bum as you lift up. Dance it out and stretch it out in these deep lunge shifts. Make sure again to squeeze the bum as you go to the opposite side. This should provide you a pretty good hamstring and inner thigh stretch as well. Piston bends are really great for working on your glute to create that bubble butt or hourglass effect while not overworking your thighs. Let's switch to the other side and don't forget to smile and have fun. Hop right down into that high plank and we're gonna do these pike plank tucks. Try to avoid arching your back when you lift your leg all the way up, but then also try to crunch your knee as close as you can to your chest as you tuck into that mountain climber position. In addition to your abs and legs, this should be an effective workout for toning out your upper back. onto our backs and engage our lower abdominal by using these ab hold heel taps to isolate each part of our oblique. Yeah. Yeah. 
No rest here, go right into these plank rocks. I promise you're almost halfway there. Tip forward and backwards as far as you possibly can to engage your arms and also arch your upper back a little bit to create some space and to support the rest of your body. Spring is quickly passing by and transitioning into summer. I'm sure a lot of us are getting excited to get that summer shredded body, but just a friendly reminder to enjoy a little bit of balance in your life, whether it's fitness and in food. As I like to say, do your crunches, but also have your cookies. Take a few more deep breaths and we're going to hop back into things with these scissor kicks. Remember to keep your lower back pressed to the ground and you can use your hands by putting them under your bum to provide some support. Elongate our bodies in these easy star crunches, making sure to create a full arc between our opposite hand and toe. Feel as though you're trying to get your belly button as close to the floor as possible. These window wiper crunches might look easy, but they're actually quite difficult to get that upper leg isolated. Every time you lift up, try to squeeze from your inner thigh, and every time you lower down, try not to slam your foot into the ground. You want to have control over the full range of motion in order to maximize the effect of the exercise. Onto the other side, making sure again to keep our entire back glued to the ground so that we're really focusing on targeting our core and inner thigh. Now let's glue our legs together in these leg circles, making sure to squeeze our heels together to maximize the effect on our inner thighs. Stay strong, you're over 75% of the way done. In these under leg lifts, I find that it helps if you keep your core engaged the entire time. It creates that extra burn, but also provides a little bit more support as you try to lift your leg as far as you can up. I also recommend either flexing or pointing your toe completely. Try to elongate your leg as if you're trying to touch the wall beneath your foot. In these side crunch variations, make sure to feel as though you're folding your core into an accordion. You can either keep your leg bent or straight, it's up to you, but I like to do a bit of a variation.
On to the other side, stay strong and keep that burn going. Let's do one last full body blast with these squat finishers. Remember, you don't have to go fast, but focus on your technique. You got this. Two, one. You did it! Congratulations! As always, thank you so much for working out with me, and I'll see you in the next video.